so hi good morning welcome to rose kitchen and garden so saturday morning and um, samir and anne plan to study today and i plan to make some pasta for lunch and also we have a dinner in mind and it's a potluck so i'm going to make some chicken and a special recipe which obviously if it turns out nice if i get good reviews i will obviously share it with you here but yeah so i am just ready i'll have a quick breakfast and then i will head out to get some ingredients for today's pasta well let's see what's happening downstairs first it's happening here ooh poha for breakfast good morning guys good morning <laughs> got to take our own bring our own bags so i think two bags should be enough let's go let's go get some spinach since we're making pasta which is carb of course we'll have some meat in it but we need to add something healthy to it so let's add some spinach leaves i can't find them i have some growing on the terrace maybe i could just use that yeah i think i'll do that if i don't find any here so no spinach here i will have to go to the terrace and then get our home grown spinach for the recipe okay let's look at the other ingredients then Fresh oregano. Let's get fresh oregano. So to make my life easy, some peeled garlic for the tetsa, and I found baby spinach here. It's organic, but I think should be good enough. So let's go with this. It wasn't there, but we have it here, so no need to pluck from the garden. So for the pasta, y'all can take chicken sausages. Now there are many chicken sausages here, or pork sausages, whatever you feel like. But I find. The churi sausage, I saw, yeah, somewhere here. Yeah, this, these churi sausages, they are smoked and they're spicy and they lend a very nice flavor to the pasta. So I'm going to take these. You can take any. You can also take chicken for this pasta. Let's move on now. Done with the groceries. Let's go. First wash done. This is the second wash. So all the soil and the residue of the spinach comes out, and we have clean spinach to eat. and then i'm going to put it in the sieve again okay so i've taken this big pot of pasta big one to boil water in it big pot of pasta sorry <laughs> big pot to boil the pasta do know what i keep saying anyways what i want to show you is this this is called the um, i think let me speak like an italian mafaldina so <laughs> this is i like different pasta shapes so this you know um instead of taking like a regular flat pasta where in which the sauce doesn't stick i like these these ribbed edges so the sauce sticks to this kind of pasta nicely so i have a a box full of pasta and i'm going to boil a pot full of water with the salt and olive oil in this you need one this size of onion this onion yellow onion and if you don't have it you use your normal red onion but if you get this one nice just crushing the garlic got this from ikea i've slid this as you can see and i'm removing the skin from the sausage this outer layer and then i'm going to chop it okay so the water is here boiling let's add some olive oil This is not uh, extra virgin and all that, so it's okay. And then add some salt in this water, and then cover it and let it come to a nice boil. And then add your pasta. We need this stock, little bit of this stock. So now I'm going to cover this and let it boil, rapid boils. So now pasta water is boiling there. Now here, mafaldin, mafaldina, like I said, it's from Naples, and I think it's named after some queen. you know so it's a very like a royal pasta this is my olive oil this is a very nice olive oil i got it from um, margaret river and uh, from their um, olive uh, what do you say farm right yeah olive garden and then there's this uh, spinach you can take a um, handful of spinach proper spinach because like i said right we are pasta so much carb so we need our um, fiber also This is our um, protein content. This sausage, ooh, I checked on the package. It said 10 grams of protein, so good, right? And uh, so I've removed the casing. If you don't want to remove the casing, you can not remove the casing. You can just keep it 
with the casing so cherry sausage you can also use chicken sausage like i told you remember then we have tomato puree or tomato paste actually you can also use passata this is tomato paste that i'm using it's a lego brand nice one i've used around half cup and uh, this is the onion that i showed you that size fine chop then this is fresh oregano now you can also use dry but if you find fresh nothing like fresh now this remaining packet what i'm going to do is i'm going to either freeze it or sun dry it so that's your frozen or sun dried oregano for next time then we need 2 tablespoons of garlic i showed you i crushed it you can fine chop also then this is just my um, no fixed uh, measurement eyeballing this is chili flakes because it depends on how much spicy you can tolerate remember these chili sausages are also spicy to kill the spice <laughs> we have some cream this is heavy cream i've used nestle cream uh, this is 1 and a half cup you can even use less you can even use uh, like you know thin cream or whatever you feel like doing you know cooking i feel is like art it's an expression so don't be bound by rules i don't like it if somebody tells me to join master chef and cook their time bound and do this and i cannot so for me cooking is like freedom complete freedom of expression now this is parmesan cheese this is um One fourth cup. So yeah, all the ingredients are here, and like I said, this is chicken stock. Okay, so all the ingredients are here. Let's put the pasta to the boil to for boiling once the water boils. But in the meanwhile, let's make the sauce for this pasta. So I will take a nice pan now. Again, reach out for this drawer. I think the pan should be here. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Not there. I'll take this pan with the splatter proof cover. Keep all of these things so that it doesn't scratch. Yep. Just rinse that, and yeah, let's start cooking. So now the pan is on the induction, and the heat is on. Let's add little olive oil to this. Good, good olive oil. And then we have to fry our sausages. So way less olive oil because already the sausages also have some oil in them, fat in them. So I'm going to now put this, put these sausages. in this pan and nicely fry them all the sausages are spread out and they fry let's turn them around see they are nicely frying let's turn them around now you see this red oil that comes out the fat this is really yummy so chicken sausage will make it very bland Yeah, I believe. So if you add chili sausage, no, then uh, the taste will really improve. So again, we can just flat a proof cover on and cooking the sausage for some more time. The sausages are sizzling. So you know, you should know when these sausages are done. Is let me show you something. When you look at this one, there is no fat. You can't see the fat clearly. Even this one, you know. So when you can't see the fat clearly, that means it's rendered the fat in the pan and it's kind of cooked. So this is done. Let's look at. Let's take a look at our pasta. Nicely boiling away. And in my household, no people don't understand al dente and all of that. Huh? This uh, <laughs> Samir, Ane, they are not like you know. They don't like one bite like you know in the under the tooth and all that al dente and the Italian stuff and all. They don't like it. they like it when the pasta is nice and soft you know they are bokas people with no teeth so they like it nice and soft so we are going to cook it till it is nice and soft if i put the cover on the water is all coming down so it's open and it will be cooking till it is nice and soft now i'm going to transfer this away in the pan and fry onions in the same oil see kitna oil has come out how much oil has come out now i'm going to fry onions in this you can if you want uh, to flavor the oil you can fry garlic also first Let me put some garlic in the pan, and then I'll put the onions. Gas first on lowest flame, so nothing burns. Put your garlic in. Give it nice mix. Give it a nice mix. Ooh, looks so good and smells divine. And then add your onion. Again, give it a nice mix. And then I'm going to start the exhaust. <laughs> Going to be noisy. Try till the onion goes slightly soft. Yeah. Then let's add the tomato paste to this and give it a nice mix again.
Now I will also now I'll also add the chicken seasoning to this. So and break it up and mix it up nicely so it will uh, nicely blend well with everything. Now one trick. It's not a trick. I'm sure everybody does this. Is that I'm going to take some pasta water and add it in this because I want to rinse this tomato puree container so let's just take some little bit of this pasta water and add it to this what this does is it also renders some starch to this and also will make sure that the flavors all come together you know it's like adding stock so yeah now also let's add our sausages back to this Let's add the sausages back so they also like get nice flavor. Some things have to just trouble me. Yeah, nice flavor. Mix it up well. Checking if the pasta is done as per my liking. Let's just break it, breaking easily. Let's just check it again. Mmm, mmm, yum, nice and chewy. Done. Switch off the gas and transfer it. Remove the water. Now I don't know. I don't need any more spare water, so all the water can go. So yeah, transferring the pasta. So let's drain it now. And I've turned on the cold water tap also because we don't want the pasta to stick. So now let's lift this up. Yeah. Okay. okay thank you. So you see now the pasta is all separate and drained also. I start the cold water because it should not stick to each other. The pasta should remain free, you know, and not become like one blob. So running it under cold tap water is essential. Adding enough oil while it is boiling is essential. Moving on to our the sauce of the pasta. Now I'm going to add my chili flakes to this. How much ever you want. And I am going to add my add the cream when we are adding the cream we need to constantly stir our sauce so it doesn't tear now so i'm going to put my phone back on the hook and then add cream let us add the oregano also before we add the cream because it's turning starting to turn black so let me add the oregano let the flavors get inside like i said you add dry you add fresh completely your choice dried smell or the fragrance of the dried one is sharper huh? let me tell you now let's add this cream and let's give it a nice mix mm, yum 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 very nice mm, yummy mm. And also at this point add your spinach because now you see it's become a little thick no so this water in the spinach the moisture from the spinach will render uh, so the water from the spinach will render some moisture in this sauce okay mix it well check for the seasoning it's nice if you want more spice you add more spice if you want some black pepper you put some fresh crushed black pepper also that will also taste very nice. I'm gonna do that. Optional, you can also do that. Nice, freshly crushed black pepper is excellent. Now I'm going to add my parmesan cheese also and make it cheesy and yummy. And after this is nicely mixed, I hope I'm recording. <laughs> nicely mixed, now we will put the pasta in. As you can see, this pasta is putting some water inside the pan. No problem. We need that moisture. So mix this well, and then you can sprinkle some parsley over it. So let me mix this pasta nicely. Hmm. Yeah. So make sure that this pasta gets nicely covered by the sauce. Like I said, see this one. If you used only linguine the sauce would not stick to it but because of these edges no the sauces get stuck here and it really tastes very nice so yep let me just blend it well
and the pasta is nicely mixed with the salt uh, sauce <laughs> sorry pasta is nicely mixed with the sauce and it is tasting really yummy i hope you like today's recipe and you're gonna make this saturday lunch special at home and do let me know how yours came out thank you very much once again for watching and roos kitchen and garden and i'm loving the response thank you guys thank you universe bye